Take a second and pause. Think of a product or service you really love, one that solves a hard problem or meets a deep need. Now, ask yourself, why did I choose to pay for this? What makes this so satisfying? What value does it add to my life? Every business is about people, people who recognize deep, unmet human needs and created an offer to address them. And people who, just like you, saw value in that offer and used it to make their lives better, simpler, and more beautiful. I'm David. I'm Carrie. I'm Amy. We're business designers at IDEO. We believe that you can design the parts of your business just like any product, service, or brand. We want to help you use design thinking to stay generative, to prototype, to test your assumptions early, so you can learn and build a business based on facts, not guesses. We live in a world that's fast. There's constant disruption and change. The time it takes to bring new offers to market gets shorter and shorter. As business designers, we see each emergent technology, change in behavior, or shift in the social landscape as an opportunity to develop an enterprise that's radically different. Business people today are often asked to get analytical and converge on solutions quickly, but this leads to big assumptions and risk. To balance these forces, we unite the analytical with the creative. We love spreadsheets and the tools of traditional business strategy. And we believe that you truly unlock the power in these tools when you pair them with the principles of design thinking. We prototype to get tangible early. To reduce risk, you must get out from behind your desk and make abstract ideas real and tangible. As your offer and business start to take shape, you can quickly learn what is and what isn't working. And we focus on people. Fulfillment of a human need lies at the heart of every single business. To design a sustainable and successful business, you must truly understand people's behaviors and motivations beyond data and surveys. We often find that the hardest part of creating a new business is understanding and connecting to people. One great example of business design is online pharmacy pill pack. Dealing with medication can sometimes be harder than the ailment it's supposed to heal. Long lines at pharmacy expiration dates, complicated directions, it can all be overwhelming. PillPack set out to make it easier. They built a new service to make taking and managing medications better. By focusing on their end users and designing different parts of their business, the co-founders of PillPack were able to get creative about how they can meet the deep needs of the people they serve. They prototyped their value proposition, channel, revenue model, and price to design not only the offer, but also the business that created, delivered, and supported that offer. PillPack grew quickly with annual revenue of over $100 million in just a few years. And they deliver hundreds of thousands of medications every month to help people get and stay well. PillPack's process isn't unique to them. No matter what role you're in, strategy, product, innovation, design, or what kind of company, established Fortune 500 or startup, you can use the mindsets and tools of business design to help you unlock more value. Let's go back to that product or service you thought about earlier. Now, imagine the business that was designed around it. The people behind it saw an opportunity to fit your specific needs. They crafted a product or service and figured out a great way to deliver it to you. They priced it well and developed an easy way for you to pay. Throughout the whole process, they kept you, their customer, in mind. Today, radically new businesses can come from almost anywhere to serve nearly anyone, and a great business can change the world.